Hello everyone, welcome to another video of MIDA short video series. In this video, we will be talking about a PAC section whose width is varying along the span. So many a times we are having geometry in which the section width is varying along the span. So in this video, we will see how do we define those PAC sections. So to start with, here we are having a line element with the different sections and elements. And for this, we'll be using SPC tool by going under the tools and here we can just select the SPC tool. So under the SPC tool, we are having imported DXF file, which you can see here. So we are having a section and also the deck above that whose width is varying. So to open and give you an example, we will open a DXF file by importing it from AutoCAD DXF like this. So I just need to select the file that I'm having. So once the file is selected, you can see here that we are having the PSCI section and the deck above that whose width is different in both the direction. So to start with, we will start with the definition of the material. I'll give the girder material that is of concrete and the properties corresponding to it. Once that is given, I'll provide the properties for the deck. I may click on OK and close. Now we need to define a section for this composite section. So we will define and uh, generate a composite section by giving two parts. One part will be for the girder and the other for the deck. So now I'll add part. For the girder, I am giving the part ID as one and selecting the part material of the girder. And again, we select the lines corresponding to deck and we give the part ID as two and the name as deck. We can change the color for easy understanding. So here you can see that the section has been defined. Now we'll calculate the properties. I just select the section and give the mesh size and click on apply. Here you will see the properties of composite section are calculated. Once that is done, we can just export this section for the use. So I'm defined PSC new one section and click on apply. Now same process I will follow for the other section. Since we need to define another section, so I will just delete this section and the lines corresponding to it in this manner. And again, I will import the other section from the AutoCAD DXF file. So the width of lens is different in both the two sections that we are using. And again, the same process for generating a section first, giving two parts to that and the base material as girder and then we will add part corresponding to girder in the deck. We'll change the name as deck and part ID as two. So we need to select the lines properly for the generation of section. Now it is done. And again, I will calculate the property with the mesh size. And then we will export this section. Give the file location and save it as PSC new. So we have used and defined the two sections from the AutoCAD DXF file whose width is varying. Now we will open the Midas window and we can just import the sections from here. So I will define the section properties and we can directly go towards the tapered section. And here we will choose PSC composite general section. I will select the SEC files. 
similarly for the other end so both the sections are defined you can check the properties as well I can select the variation and select the offset as center top here you can see the value at the i and j end for i and j end before and after composite action so we have defined this section to the elements and you can see how these sections are tapered now we will create a tapered group so that a smooth section is created along the span for these elements so we go under the tapered group I'll select all the elements give the name as PSC taper you can select the variation of the degree as required and when we click on add so you can see the variations a polynomial variation along the width of the deck is occurring so in this manner we can just create the tapered group and any varying width sections can be used in Myra Civil. So I hope this video was helpful for you.